Welcome back students. In the previous class, we have revised the basic concepts, concepts of coordinate geometry. Now in this class, let us recall how we plotted a point or how to tell the coordinates of a point which is already plotted. Okay, and now let us once again revise all the concepts that we had learned in the previous class. As you know, in on a coordinate plane, this horizontal line is called x-axis and the vertical line is called y-axis. And by drawing the two axes, which is x and y axis, this coordinate plane is divided into four parts and we call each part as a quadrant. This is a quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. And what is the intersecting point of these two axes called? Very good, it's called the origin. Now, as we already know, to plot any point on this coordinate plane, we require two values and we call the two values as coordinates. What are they called? X coordinate and Y coordinate. Now, as we already discussed, every quadrant is bounded by two rays or parts of the two axes. Either they are either positive or negative. For example, in the quadrant one, it is bounded by positive X axis and positive Y axis. So the address that is the coordinates of any point in this plane will be both positive. Right, when you come to this quadrant 2, it is bounded by negative x-axis and positive y-axis. So, the any point on this quadrant will be having a negative x-coordinate and positive y-coordinate. Similarly, Q3 you will have both negatives and in quadrant 4 you will have a positive x-coordinate and negative y-coordinate. So, these are the basic things you have to remember to locate a point on this plane or to tell the coordinates of any point which are on this plane. So now what we do is, I will plot some points on this plane. After I plot these points, you just pause this video for a while. You write the coordinates of each and every point on a paper. Then you resume this video to check whether the coordinates that you have written are correct or incorrect. Let us do it now. Are you ready? So keep a pen and paper with you. Then you resume this video. Now I'll plot points from A to L on this coordinate plane and then you have to write the coordinates of these points. You just pause this video for a while then let us check what you have written is correct or wrong. So these are the points I have plotted. So I have plotted here the points from A to K. You pause this video for a while. Then you write the coordinates neatly or legibly on, the, on a piece of paper. Then you resume these videos to check whether what you have written is correct or wrong. So let us write the coordinates of each point one and one. Now let us go to this point A. Now A is basically in second quadrant. So you have to write here quadrant 2. Then basically x coordinate is the distance of a point from y axis. So how far is it from and in which direction it is. Actually A is 3 units from this y axis. So its x coordinate is negative 3 and y coordinate is positive 1. So you have to write here minus 3 comma 1. So these are the coordinates of point A. Now 
So these are the coordinates of A. Let's try and change the color so that uh, it's clear. Now let us go to point B. Where is point B? Now point B is in this first quadrant. Actually, you have write the right here the quadrant also in which it is located. So let us write uh, the quadrant here, and it is located in quadrant uh, sorry quadrant uh, two. So let us write it as Q two. So this is second quadrant. So let's write it like this. So this is in Q two. Now let us move to point B. Where is this point B? This is in Q1. So let us write here first. Uh, Q1. So that it will be easier for you to write uh, the coordinates. Let's write Q1. So this is in quadrant 1. Then let us write its coordinates. Now the coordinates are x coordinate is 2 and y coordinate is 4. So we should be writing here x coordinate 2 and y coordinate is 4. So these are the coordinates of the point B. Then let us come to this point C. Now here point C is on x axis. So basically whenever a point is on x axis, as you know its y coordinate should be 0. So it's so simple to write the coordinates. So what are the coordinates of this point? Exactly 4 and 0. So the coordinates are 4 comma 0. As simple as that. Now let us come to point D. Where is point D? Now this point D is on y axis. So as you know whenever a point is on y axis its x coordinate should be 0. So its coordinate is 0 and negative 3. So let us write the coordinates 0 and minus 3. Now, what happened to this E now? Where is E? Let us find out where is E. E is in third quadrant. As you know, in third quadrant, both coordinates are negative. So, here x coordinate is minus 6 and y coordinate is minus 2. So, let us add the coordinates here. What are the coordinates? Minus 6 comma minus 3. So these are the coordinates of E. Now let us go to F. F is in second quadrant. So x is negative and y is positive. What are the coordinates here? Negative 8 and positive 3. So let us write the coordinates here. Negative 8. So it is minus 8 comma 3. So these are the coordinates of F. Now let us go to G. G is in fourth quadrant. So G is in fourth quadrant here and its x coordinate is 5 and y coordinate is negative 3. So let us write the coordinates of G here. x coordinate is 8 and y coordinate is negative 3. Now let us move to H. Now here H is in, no H actually is on y axis. So its x coordinate is 3 and y coordinate is I mean, 3. x is 0 and y is 3. So coordinates of uh, that h are 0 and 3 because it is on y axis its x coordinate is 0. Now let us go to i g h i. i is in quadrant 4 its x coordinate is 3 and y coordinate is negative 4. So i is 3 minus 4 3 comma minus 4. Now next i j where is j? j is in quadrant 3 x coordinate is minus 3 and y coordinate is minus 4. So it is minus 3 and minus 4. Then k. k again is in first quadrant. Both are positive. x is 5 and y is 3. So let us write the coordinates here. x is 5 comma and y is 3. So this is, these are the coordinates of k. Then what is the point that we are left with? We are left with L. Now L is, where is L? I just can't locate okay, L. Is it K? Didn't I put L somewhere in here? I put L. Where is L, 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 L? I think we have not plotted L. Okay, leave it. So this is how you write the coordinates of the points. Now, 
let us write the quadrants in which they occurred. C, where is C? C is actually on x-axis. So let us write here x-axis. Then where is D? As x-coordinate is 0, it should be on y-axis. Then where is E? Both are negative. So it is in quadrant 3. Then come to this f. Where is f here? x is negative and y is positive. So it is quadrant 2. It is in quadrant 2. two. Then g. x is positive and y is negative. So it should be in q4. So let us write q4 here. Then h. x coordinate is 0. So it should be obviously on y axis. So this point is on y axis. Then i, x is positive and y is negative. So it's again in q4. So let us write q4. Then x is negative, y also is negative. So the point is again in q3. Because both coordinates are negative, the point has to be in on q3. So this is how you look, you write the quadrants and there is one more point left here, k. 5 and 3 both are positive. So it should be in quadrant 1. Very good. It should be in quadrant 1. So this is how you locate the point. You write the coordinates of any point and you write the quadrant in which it is located. So I think you all understood this and you have written most of these answers correct. And now you I'll give you an assignment. I'll give you some points. Some I will give you the coordinates of the points and you plot those points on a graph sheet and you take its photograph and you post it to me. Right? Let us do it now. Now I will write the coordinates. You name the points however you want and you plot them and you post them to me. I am not writing the names of the points also. You can write your own names. I will give you some 3 or 4 points or some 10 points so that uh, you can practice them well. Okay. So these are the points uh, you have to plot, and after you plot these points, you take the photograph of the of the graph sheet and then you post it to me so that I can check whether you have done correctly or wrong. Then the next video we will move on to the next topic. Thank you.